like clock. I can't stop. Fuck around, make my 40 pop. No pop con. I pop pistols. Reaming my body. Clothing, no issue. Bitch, you look sick. You need a tissue. You drop a body. I just might bless you. I'm at your session. Yo, what is going on, everyone? It's Wraith here, back with another video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be basically showing you guys a couple of really good solo landing spots. Some are going to be really uncontested with zero to even maybe two people going there. And some are going to be a little bit more contested for those of you who like to get kills off spawn. But if you're looking forward to this video, make sure you let me know down in the comments. And if you want to see a duo landing spot video, make sure you also let me know because I will make one for you guys. Because it's most likely going to be FNCS duos. No guarantees but I, that's what I'm assuming. So if you're looking forward to this video, make sure you slap a like button on it, comment what you want to see for a future video, hit that subscribe button. You guys already know and you guys are already using it. Create a code WRAITHFN in the item shop and let's get right into today's video. So for the first place, it's going to be right outside of Misty and it's not that building. You can land there, but normally there's a couple of people there. Um, but this is a more uncontested kind of route you can start off with. And basically, I land on this kind of floor loot as well as chest loot spawn. And normally, there's one to two people, sometimes zero people. And what I do is just rotate exactly how I did, depending, obviously, on their drop if someone was contested. And then shoot at them or do whatever you need to do. Uh, there's a couple floor loot spawns here inside of the little blue containers as well. But again, it all really depends on if someone lands here and if they do, where they land. If they land ice cream truck, you're going to obviously have to land low. Now, if you get a sniper, you get an AR, you get really good shields, you can always push that if you're looking for a few early game picks or kills or whatever the case is. And if not, what I recommend is just dropping down underneath down to this little cabin, I guess you could say. And something you could also do is if someone landed on the ice cream truck or on the like uh, little fireplaces or whatever you want to call it and they have a way better drop than you you can just instantly land on this kind of cabin and it has three chests and a couple floor loot spawns so you're still getting pretty decent rng with it and then you can kind of just see what the guy up above is doing if they're gonna come push you or they're not or they're just gonna kind of chill up there or rotate or whatever the case is right so you can kind of make up your mind and it all really depends where someone else lands but then next, you're going to just follow this kind of small route. This is the route I take. You don't have to take it. Um, I don't really recommend going down underneath there where, like, where all the ships are, broken ships, just because I feel like it's really hard to get out of and people can just third party you and just start absolutely destroying you. And there's only like two chests down there. So again, it's your choice. I personally don't recommend it, but depending how many, how much loot you have, what you're looking at, how much time you have, then you can kind of decide if you want to go underneath. But then you're going to rotate on through the uh, zip line and you're going to come down to this house with ha which has one chest spawn as well as I think three floor loot spawns so it's pretty decent. Obviously if someone lands here then you should be able to beat them because you'll have way more RNG than them. But yeah that's basically it for this spot and then you can just keep traveling down the far back or the left side depending on zone. You can even rotate through the middle if need be. So now our next spot is another uncontested spot and again it's right outside of Misty and basically it's these kind of like jumble of four to five houses and you can kind of decide where you want to land depending on where other people go. So you can land any of the places that I marked right now and there's a decent enough loot where you still should have somewhat of loot but I personally recommend just partying up and hitting this big house that I'm right above right now. Uh, if someone else comes here, you're probably going to have to fight them. Normally, there'll be a one to two people in this kind of house range, sometimes three people in this vicinity, um, sometimes zero. But I definitely recommend 50 50 ing this house if you have to. And land on this top of the house, drop down, and you can kind of see where you want to go. You can grab the floor loot spawns, you can grab the chest spawns. Obviously, the more you land here, the more you're going to know exactly where the floor and chest spawns are. So you can kind of make up your mind then. But there's a decent amount of chest here, and again, it all really depends on where people land. If you want a 50-50, then 50-50. If you don't want it and you want to play a little bit more passive, that is completely fine as well. You don't have to play aggressive and 50-50. You can land any other of those houses that I mentioned. Um, but yeah, once you kind of loot up this house, it kind of depends on where you want to go. Uh, you can try a couple different places, like you can go to the... Uh, for example up here and you can go to the back this is where I would normally recommend going like all the way down to the back um, 
you can like right where I marked down there you can go to those little that little hut far side uh, most of the time people won't land there you can grab this chest right up here um, if you don't see anyone hit these houses in Misty, like outside of Misty, you can hit both of these or even land on them, like I said, and they're a really good spot for some decent loot. And worst case scenario, if you really want or all those other places are taken, you can basically just keep rotating, farm up on your way there, and then just basically come down to this little, I don't even know what you would call it, like little base camp, and then you can loot this as well. Um, also, you can rotate just kind of straight into the middle of the zone pretty freely. You can go to Slurpy Swamps if you want to get some shield if you didn't get any, unfortunately, but it's pretty ro easy to rotate. You can rotate pretty easily to Retail Row if you need to, as well as you can attack Slurpy or Misty if you want to. So now the next place is going to be Craigie Cliffs, and this is going to be a little bit more of fighting off spawn and getting a couple kills off spawn. Normally, I'll see three people here give or take a couple depending on what the loot's kind of or what kind of the bus drop is but normally this is how I rotate and how I drop I normally drop on this depending if it's a gun or not if not then I'll just basically drop on top of this house uh, you'll see me go to the chest right away but basically like depends if there's a gun right on the balcony or depending on my drop and if anyone's contesting and then basically I just kind of rotate through this house because there's three chests. So normally when I land, I like landing on spots that have minimum three chests just to minimize my RNG. But again, that's all kind of up to you guys. And then I just check the floor loot spawns and make sure that I kind of checked everything. Make sure I got everything. Make sure I kind of get a little bit of mats while I'm looting up a little bit. Grab this chest. And then I just continue to rotate. And this is really important because this is where, especially when more people are spawned, this is where it kind of depends where everyone else landed. This is where my rotation depends. Uh, you can also land on this house if you wanted right here. It's a pretty good one. It uh, has a decent chest spawns. I wouldn't recommend landing on this house that I'm on right now just because it's in the middle and you can get third party really, really easily. Um, I don't also recommend landing up there like you can, but not the greatest RNG. Uh, same with this building. There's a lot of people that end up contesting this building, so quite a bit of people go here, so you're getting really bad 50-50, so I personally don't recommend landing at the house. Um, I recommend either landing at those two that I m mentioned or these four that I'm building to. Uh, not Either of these three or four are pretty decent as well. But yeah, all kind of depends where people land and what your drop is like. If you have a really good drop, you kind of get to choose, and you can land here a couple times and figure out what you like. Uh, but yeah, it all kind of depends, and then you can just rotate really easily, like right down the middle for a free rotate. Uh, if you need more loot, you can go to like Pleasant, uh, you can go to that little forest little area, you can go to those houses, but if you want, you can W key Pleasant or Frenzy as well, depending if you're looking for kills or not. So now my next spot, and this is actually where I'm currently landing right now, and this is Holly Hedges, which is probably one of the least or most underrated POIs just because it doesn't have much chest spawns but you can kind of land any of these houses that I just marked uh, this is personally where I land I land at the top of this house again depending on my drop if someone lands up top I land underneath and this chest also or this house also has three chest spawns so I kind of just chill rotate look to see if there's anything in there sometimes there's shields a shotgun something like that uh, drop down grab this chest grab this chest underneath the stairs and then kind of just make my way through the house checking for floor loot spawns checking to see if there's any of those ammo boxes that can give you like the shield and then again the, this is where it comes important uh, all kind of depends where other people land to rotate both these chests both these houses only have one chest that I marked so I normally will rotate there if no one's gone there or depending on my loot, if someone's landed there, I will W key if my loot's decent because they only had one chest and like I think two floor loot spawns. So normally they're not going to be that kitted. So if I have a really good loadout, I will end up pushing them. Uh, if I don't have a good loadout, normally I'll just rotate depending where other people went. And if everywhere else is taken, then I normally just dip. If I don't have a good loadout, like I'll just leave Holly. Um, then normally if Depending on the people again, you can go into this blue house. You can even land at this blue house. There's two chest spawns, one underneath that little campfire. There's also one behind that tree that I just marked. Yellow house is a decent place to land, but there's only the one chest spawn in the house and then one behind the tree. And then normally, depending on, again, where people land, you can just rotate. Uh, follow this kind of path where you can find the chest. There's good uh, loot everywhere. There's good uh, mats and everything that you can find. 
this is probably the second house I would land at if I didn't land on my house. There's a chest behind it, and then there's a chest up top in the kind of attic. But yeah, all kind of depends where you want to land and where other people land. Because that's honestly the biggest thing in my decision of where people landing is where other people end up landing. So now my last spot is kind of a happy in-between. Sometimes you get it contested, sometimes you don't. And it's just the island in the bottom right side of the, of the map. And this is normally the blue path I take where I land the far left side because it has the most chest spawns. I think with six chest spawns, I could be incorrect though. And normally, again, I do this exact drop uh, depending though if someone else lands or is contesting me and if they have a better drop, then I'll maybe just drop the back side of this kind of place or I'll even hit the house up on the ridge, which I will show in a bit. But yeah, normally you already have three chests right off the bat and a two floor loot spawn. So normally if someone else lands at this bottom side with you, you have a kind of advantage because you have more loot to cover. As well as there's, if not, then you're really kidded because normally there's like six chests. And if you don't get good loot, like say for example, you just don't get any shield or you have no shotgun or whatever the case is, then you can just dip back by boat through the water or you can just swim away and kind of move up to those houses that I showed you guys at the first bit of the video um, and then there's also a chest in this kind of back spot obviously you don't have to break this metal container I don't know why I did in this video but again you guys don't have to and then normally again depending on how my loot is and what my kind of game plan is if I just want to dip I just leave and then normally like I said you can just either swim to those houses you can hit a boat you can kind of just rotate out whatever you guys kind of want it all kind of depends on your play style normally though uh, I almost always if I land here I push up towards the house just because I want to get a kill off spawn and also sometimes two people will hit houses so then you can just get an easy third party kill but you if you really need loot you can rotate to this chest if you already have decent loot I just recommend following the left side of this kind of island so the people don't see you and then hitting this extra chest right inside this little cabin or barn or whatever you want to call it uh, just again just an extra free loot kind of you can grab uh, then normally what I say is I come up to this house depending on what's happening if someone landing to you uh, then obviously I fight them or just stay up top and see kind of what my scenario is if not then I just quickly loot it there's a decent amount of chests in here uh, there's floor loots up, up top, which I was just showing, so if you want, you can land in the floor loot. Uh, there's quite a bit of floor loot in this house, actually, but there's a chest that a lot of them are just underneath the ground. Uh, so basically, you just got to break underneath and then kind of break through this, I guess you could say, secret passage, um, which is just underneath the carpet, which a lot of people actually get confused about or leave. There is a chest underneath the carpet, chest in there, a couple floor loot spawns, so... Three chests overall, not too, too bad, and then a couple floor loot spawns. And then normally, again, depending on my scenario, if I want to fight, if I don't want to fight, you can come to this little barn. Uh, all kind of depends on your play style and what you want to do. Uh, there's a couple of chest spawns, like I'll show you guys on the screen, and I'll kind of walk through it. But yeah, and then a couple of places you can rotate, I'll show at the end of the video, obviously, is you can rotate to Misty if you want to fight people. Uh, you can rotate, rotate by boat all the way to Slurpee if you want. Um, if you really need shield or something like that, or you just decide to dip early, you can rotate to Slurpee. Or you can rotate to those kind of houses that I showed in the first part of the video. But yeah, that's basically it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you slap a like button on it. Comment what you want to see for a future video. Hit that subscribe button. Use creator code WraithFN in the item shop. And let me know if you want to see a duo landing spot. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.